When the eye starts to significantly age, some of the cells in the back of the eye start to secrete a tiny molecule called VEGF, or vascular endothelial growth factor. VEGF is usually released at times when the back of the eye is not functioning properly, oftentimes when the eye is calling out for more oxygen. VEGF does a couple of things. It's a molecule that signals the eye to start creating new blood vessels. In addition, it makes blood vessels very leaky, raising the chances that the retina can become very wet and very boggy. When VEGF is poured on the new blood vessels, they start to aggressively grow. Now intuitively, you might think that new blood vessels sound like a good thing, but they're definitely not. They're very fragile and can cause bleeding or fluid to seep into the retina. A giant step forward in the treatment of wet macular degeneration was the development of Lucentis, a tiny molecule that is injected directly into the eye. As we've just talked about, VEGF is a protein that causes blood vessels to grow. Well, Lucentis is a molecule that was specifically developed to stop VEGF. It is an antibody that was created to be small enough to be injected into the eye, diffuse across the retina, and bind to VEGF, ultimately inactivating it. Without VEGF, the new vessels that are seen in wet macular degeneration start to shrink down and will eventually die. Firstly, Lucentis has to be delivered through an injection into the eye. Because this involves a surgical procedure, I typically will start patients on an antibiotic a couple of days in advance in an attempt to prevent an infection from occurring. Now just prior to doing an injection, I freeze the eye. Next, we use other medications to clean away any remaining bacteria and debris. Next, we carefully measure exactly where we will enter the eye. The ideal place to enter is just behind the lens and before the start of the retina. We aim to deliver the medication into the jelly and let the medication diffuse in through the retina. When we inject Lucentis in the eye, we only deliver a small amount, about a 20th of a cc. Patients might see the medicine in the eye. They often notice it swirling around or as a new black spot. The black spot is actually a small bubble of air. It should go away and is nothing to be concerned about. Intravitreal injections are generally very safe, but as with any procedure, complications can arise. I'd be concerned if I had significant pain and redness the day after or a few days after following injection. This could mean that there is an inflammation or an infection developing in the eye. One last thing that I do is prescribe antibiotics to patients following injections, again, to lower the chances of getting an infection in the eye after the injection.